When you're subtracting decimals that are based on measures or money, the most important thing to do is make sure that your decimals are in the same units. You can't take away grams from kilograms or metres from kilometres. You need to convert one or the other of your amounts until you've got them both in the same units. Once you have got them in the same units, you write them underneath each other, making sure that you align all of the place values and the decimal points. So I've written the first one, 105.419. Underneath that, I'm going to write the second one, lining up the decimal place and writing in 36.08. Then I'm going to do the takeaway. I can see that what I need to write on the end is the zero in the thousandths column because I have no thousandths in my second number. It will make it easier to do the takeaway if I write that in. Now I can write in my answer. I know that the units for my answer are going to be kilograms, so I'll write that in first. I'm also going to put the decimal point in my answer to make sure that doesn't get lost. Now I'm starting with the thousandths. Nine take away none is nine. In the next column, for hundredths of the amount, one take away eight, I can't do it. I'm going to have to borrow from here one of the tenths and turn it into ten hundredths. I've now got eleven hundredths take away eight leaves three hundredths. In the tenths place I've got three take away zero leaves three. In the units I've got five take away six. I can't do that. I need to convert this hundred. So I'm going to take that hundred and I'm going to turn it into nine tens and ten units. So that one hundred I'm turning into nine tens and ten units. I've put the nine tens in the tens column and I've added those ten units to the five that were already there to give me fifteen. I've now got fifteen units, take six, leaves me with nine and in the tens column nine take three gives me 6. So my answer will be 69.339 kilograms.